decision made in the controversial rezoning debate that includes a Knoxville Park. The City County Planning Commission voting to approve rezoning an acre of green space behind the ball fields there at Caswell Park to residential. All of this happening within just the past hour. Reporter Blake Stevens has been looking into what this means. He joins us now live here in the studio. So Blake, there was a last minute change by the city in this meeting, right? That's right, guys. City staff was originally asking to rezone enough to allow for 47 units, but they changed that just, just uh, about an hour ago to 24 units. The Rojero administration says the space right here was never considered a park and developing it for housing was already part of an approved plan. Well, that plan never allowed any more than 24 units. Even though VMC wanted 47, this still puts them closer to housing the people they serve. I know that all of us have had loved ones or at least known of friends who have loved ones who have struggled from almost from the day that they were born, if I may put it that way, and who mature or who become adults and have challenges of living in an adult world. Bruce Spangler saying this space behind the ball fields at Caswell Park will allow them to help more people who desperately need it. Housing First says let's move housing to the very beginning of the process and understand housing to be a tool for recovery and then you wrap around supportive services to address those life issues that may have lent to that experience of homelessness. VMC works to end and prevent homelessness. They've been doing it here at Minvilla for a decade, but Spangler says more than 60 chronically homeless people are still waiting for permanent shelter. We don't just need parks. People also need homes. While everyone isn't for the idea of giving up what they see as part of their park, there was one public meeting announced with one week's notice. And in that space are too many people, and we think that there's better solutions for everybody. Spangler hopes they'll welcome them if they do get to build here. We promise to be uh, great neighbors, uh, but for at the end of the day, we're committed to ending and preventing homelessness, and we are committed to helping folks overcome that experience. It's now up to City Council to approve that zoning change by the Planning Commission and give over any city-owned land. We'll let you know what happens, guys.